Hello guys, Harsh here. So today I'm going to show you how you can replace the stock ROM with the S6 ROM. We know well that the Samsung is not going to give Android updates in this mid-budget smartphone. But by using this ROM, you can upgrade your Android version to Lollipop and change the themes and wallpaper to S6. Similar, uh, that is similar to S6. So guys, let us start. This is the stock firmware that we get with the Samsung. Uh, device or which the Samsung provides in the S Duo 2. I will show you the phone information about the device. You can see the device name JD S7582 that is Samsung Galaxy S Duo 2. Android version 4.2.2 that is Jelly Bean. This is the uh, basic Jelly Bean game. Not much here. Now I will show you the S6 ROM which I have uh, uh, which I have already placed on my SD card. Here is the S6 ROM. Next is now Experience Note Zip, and here are some toggles uh, which will do nothing much but uh, will add some more toggles in this notification panel. Firstly, make sure that you have a. Uh, custom recovery not that stock recovery that you uh, get with the Samsung device you need a CWM recovery or TWRP recovery in this video I will show you how you can flash the S6 ROM using TWRP recovery uh, and in the similar manner you can flash it uh, with the C uh, CWM recovery so guys firstly turn off your device or power off your device yes you can see the basic or uh, the stock logo of the Samsung. Now I have to move move on into the recovery mode. So for this I have to press the power button, home key and volume button. Uh, three of them together. You can see the red exclamation mark on the top. That's normal because we are booting into the a recovery and not that stock recovery it's the TWRP recovery first it now we have to install the ROM so click on install select the micro SD card my micro SD card is already selected now you have to search your uh, ROM where you have the where you have placed the ROM <coughs> here is it S6 ROM Next is now S6 experience.zip Click on it Swipe to confirm flash <coughs> It will take some time so please have some patience sometime more it's almost going to over If you want to know how to install a TWRP in your S Duos 2, you can refer the link in the description below. Uh, that is also the video which is made by me. You can get the full steps how to get TWRP in your S Duos 2. You guys, it's completed. Our installation is complete. Back, reboot, likely reboot into system.
so guys you can see it's the S6 Samsung logo our S Duos 2 Samsung logo is replaced by this S6 Samsung logo So guys, it's completed. Now we have to fill this basic information. Next, if you want to add the Wi-Fi network, you can add, or you can skip this. Click on I understand and agree to the terms and condition above. Next, if you want to add the Gmail. Account now you can add now or you can add it later. Click on not now. You can choose your data services, SIM1, SIM2 or disable it also. Click on next. Next. You can write your name. Let me write mine. Click next. This is nothing. Finish. So guys, you can see the brand new wallpaper of the S6. You can also see that all the icons have been changed. Whether it's camera, Play Store. Or any other in the app draw you can see that our clock has also been changed here is the phone dialer <coughs> it contains some apps uh, that are venom exposed opera mini photo editor and you can see the device is already rooted that is you don't need to root this rom it is already already rooted so let me show you you can also see that the notification bar has also been changed let me show you the android version you can see next is now samsung S6 experience Android version 4.0.2 that's lollipop nothing much here a new feature wiper fx sounds have been added to increase the sound quality now let let me flash the toggles so to increase the these notification panels options you can clearly see that it contains only this one now when i flash the toggle these the these icons will increase automatically with some new functions so the procedure is same firstly turn off your device the samsung logo then press the these three buttons together it will boot you into the TWRP recovery So never show this screen during boot again. Why no? Click on uh, install zip. Now change to micro SD card. A six room toggle short zip. Five to flash. It's done. Reboot system.
this time it will not take same time right now let me show you the modification so guys you can clearly see some new options have been added that is the flashlight smart network and the smart tray the flash the flashlight is for the flashlight you know well the smart network generally works opens the network uh, wireless and network setting it is a kind of a shortcut nothing much here oh, and if you want to change the display you can quickly change it there are these F6 wallpapers that may quickly set up one So guys that's all in this video